are having an assembly of unlocking in, in a brain. Uh, so our data set includes uh, a number include two patients with four trials uh, based on vibro textile simulation with three textures. Uh, in each hand, one left and right, and one for distracting in the in the back. Our goal is to classify between the target, which is left or right, and non-target, which is a destructor or normal case. So, for data analysis, we start with filtering the data using uh, a Butterworth filter. After that, removing the spikes by uh, replacing the quantiles of 95% uh, and 0.5% uh, by the mean value, and using uh, ICA independent component analysis for cleaning the data better. After that, we made a segmentation of the data. We take uh, 0 0.7 segments with overlapping of 50%. Usually, B300 uh, is uh, 0 0.3 seconds. But the reason here is because uh, when using uh, patients, uh, P300 might be delayed for 100 or, uh, or more milliseconds. So in this case, we have a higher range, 0.7. And 50% overlapping, which is 350 milliseconds, to move from an event to another event. So before uh, pre-processing, the data was very noisy, and after pre-processing, it was very clear, and you can notice the P300 events some some places. And now our data is ready for the next step, which is feature extraction. So feature extraction, we use five categories of features. We use a statistical feature. We use power spectral uh, density-based feature. We use entropy features, which is the permutation, spectral, singular value, decomposition, approximate, and sample entropy. After that, the uh, fractional dimension, using Peterson fractional dimension, gas, and the heat sheet. Finally, we go to the T-drained fluctuation analysis. Overall, we got 17 features because our data include eight channels. We take the average of each channel to eliminate the role of the channels and to reduce the dimensionality of the system, which will increase the calculation time. For classification, we had uh, two classes of classifier and three classes of classifier. First one, uh, distinguish between target and non-target. Uh, in the three classes, we distinguish uh, between uh, left, right, and non-target. We use extreme gradient boosting for the three classes, and for the binary, we use SDN classifier. For the results we got, uh, for the binary classification, we got an accuracy approximately to 60%. For the data that we take that is low and that is high, so it's almost the same, around 60%. And uh, for the three classes, we got an accuracy that's around, let's say, 70% in general. And uh, that's how we were when we were working. And we think that PCI and the neurotechnology represent hope for the future. Neurotechnology is the shape of the future. And thank you.